friends, it's Carol from Crinkle Path Journals, and Happy New Year. I come with a hodgepodge of things today to share with you, so I hope you'll stick around and see what I've got going on my desk today. First, I have another Deck the Halls 23, so let's close out last year with this last deck the halls and this one is from stephanie she is one of our frequent live sale participants thank you so much stephanie for joining in this collaboration uh stephanie does not have a channel and i'll say yet because i'm always hopeful that our live sale crafty friends will be able to start sharing some of the things they make with what they buy i think that would be so exciting I just promoted one of our Maker's Market creators who just is starting a channel today, and that's Bets and Pieces. Her name is Betsney, so go to my community post and follow her channel, subscribe, give her a shout out today. She's starting a collab with eight other creators, I think she said, and so check out the series she's launching her channel with. Stephanie, thank you so much for this. Let's see what Stephanie sent. Stephanie also recently purchased a songbook that I don't have it here on my desk right at hand, but she purchased a songbook I had as a child that Angela was selling and she sent it to me. Uh, I appreciate that so much, Stephanie. That was a really sweet gesture. Oh, I love this lined paper. I think Stephanie mentioned in the last live sale that she is a teacher, and so I would guess maybe she's an elementary teacher because she's got some handwriting paper, and that's a beautiful color, and some graph paper. Oh, and this large graph paper, that that's really fun. And this is a little heavier, I like that. Oh, we've got some playing cards. Oh, this is her little... Deck the Halls altered card. Got a Santa cookie. And look at that. The card has a present. That is so cute, Stephanie. Thank you so much. And we've got some labels. These are little guys that go on the calendar. Oops, he's got a staple in his face. Oh, let's help him out. And look, it's like three-dimensional little wings. So it's so cute. I'll save that for my Thanksgiving journaling and some beautiful cardstock little cutouts for Christmas. I love it. Thank you, Stephanie. Next, I got my very first postcard for my hashtag nine to five to 55. I will link, oh, Pat, this is from Possum Patty. Oh, let me read it, sorry. I'll get back to what I was saying. <laughs> oh, thank you, Patty. She sent me a flat Stanley stunt double so that he can have some adventures with me in California. I love it. Thank you, Possum Patty. I will make sure Stanley Stunt Double has a great time with me. And she sent me the Essex Steam Train and Riverboat postcard. And she has a video where Stanley took his first ride on the train. I love that Possum Patty has her flat Stanley that she takes on adventures and does videos with. This is something both of my girls did in elementary school and I love doing whimsical things, um, playful things. It keeps the joy in our lives, doesn't it, Patty? We don't have to be a kid to do those things. And look how cute these stickers are that she put on there. She is an incredible nature and memory journaler, and I just love everything she does. I wanted to share with you a couple of Christmas presents that I got. I thought this was pretty hilarious. It's so beautifully wrapped and textured and this little leather bow and 
this was in my stocking. <laughs> it's the teeniest, tiny little tacky glue. <laughs> that was from one of my family members. I think that's so funny. They know I am always crafting and always looking for another bottle of glue. And then I believe my husband got me this. It's a corner rounder and a notch cutter for doing envelopes. And I have kind of commandeered my daughter's envelope punch. And so now I can give that back to her. <laughs> then my oldest daughter made a bunting and I will insert a picture here. And then she's had it in a box that said open first. It was made out of her and her sister's a couple of their Christmas outfits that were very dated 1990s and she saved all the little extras after making the bunting the collars and the little lace sleeves and you can see here oh so she actually had her daughter wear her first Christmas outfit that our Christmas card picture was in but see this is just the kind of bodice of the little jumper that was something she and her sister both wore at Christmas and then this is another one and uh, they were kind of big babies <laughs> we we grown big around here and our granddaughter is um, pretty tall and she's a good sized baby and so she doesn't fit in quite all of these and like I said you can tell by the big lacy collars. These are a little outdated, but I think this will be so fun to craft with. And I love my memory bunting. I hung it as a Christmas decoration. We have kind of this funny wall in our house that used to be an outside wall. And it had a window in it, which my husband built shelves into the window box and we hung a curtain over it and that's where we keep all our DVDs. So I just hung it up there. And then my first thrift haul of 2024, I ended up going to my favorite thrift store and found a whole bunch of trims. So I thought I would show you these really quick. And then I will get to this. Oh, and my announcement. So 9 to 5 to 55 is the hashtag. I will link the video below. Thank you to those of you who have already started doing VRs. I'm keeping a list. Oh, this one is so pretty. Let's get that rubber band. It's kind of dirty. If you send in a postcard like Possum Patty did you will be entered into the drawing for a journal that I am making and I'll let you go to that video to get all the details. I also will be giving away gift cards. This is open. The gift card giveaway is open to international and the journal is open to here in the US and I will give away a second gift card if I get to a thousand subbies. So thank you to those of you who have been getting the word out and asking people to subscribe. I know it's an ambitious goal. I am just sitting right under 800. And I know that I've had several friends who have said they have had random unsubscribe have been randomly unsubscribed from different channels and my numbers have actually gone down in the last week I'm not panicking <laughs> and I think it's could be kind of that thing happening uh, where algorithm sees you subscribe to a couple different channels in the same week they think that maybe you're not a real person and so then they kick you off of the channels that you recently subscribed to so if you watch me and have subscribed in the past 
would you please look at your subscribe button and see if it's actually clicked? <laughs> um, I hope that, um, you know, YouTube claims that that doesn't happen, but uh, we've had too many in the last couple of weeks. People talking about, I have to resubscribe to this person every morning. Aren't these laces gorgeous? Yeah, this was a great haul of trims. This delicate little light blue one. Bunnies! So cute. I'm making a giant pile on my desk. This red and white. Uh, it's very rare that I find so many colored trims. So this is fun. Oh, look at this delicate little floral. Can you imagine that tucked into a seam? That's cute. It's almost like a piping. Um, we've got some rope. This sweet little blue, light blue. And this very delicate pink. And last but not least, this pretty hefty size roll of this white. Look like little houses to me. <laughs> okay, let me shove these back in the bag real quick. Because what I really wanted to show you today is that I've actually started using my Hazel Anaka inspired homemade date book or planner. I just added some fabric here to the inside. This was off of a quilted piece that Sierra from Cooley Craft Corner had just sent me in Happy Mail. Uh, this is a Reader's Digest book. And I didn't alter the cover at all. It's still original. I have a hidden spine with five signatures. And I'm going to be using this mostly for writing, I think. Maybe a few pictures. Let me take these off real quick so we can flip through quick. I know that I will be adding more to this, but as of now, at least it is functional. I can go ahead and start using it. I left the original pages in, first pages, I should say. I added some wallpaper to bolster that up. The fabric gives the spine a little more flexibility, but adds some security. I have this cute little postalette, and then I put these little index cards with the month throughout the book. I used some paper from books. This was from, uh, it's an Ikea uh, design book. I sent most of it to Carrie, but there are a few pictures out of there. Here's my January calendar, and I ended up printing this from Erin Reader, The Incremental Mama. So there, she has a bunch of free calendars, and I have not followed her before. I just did a search for calendar printables, and she came up, and she had some really cute different modern designs. I love this one that has all the florals on it. And she allows the use for personal non-commercial use. She's a time management and planning helper. It's her little business. So I did a signature for each quarter of the year. See these calendars, how cute they are with the florals. I printed two per page so that they would fit on my pages in here. It's a little uh, bingo game from Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day. I made this one into a pocket. I love this stack of books. Looks a little like my house some days. <laughs> I incorporated wallpaper. It's more of that book page. Here's the back into the signature. Maybe I'll just bring you down a little. 
There's the back end of the signature with the rest of the postalette. Um, this is the second signature, so this one is April, May, June. So I had to add strawberries. I do have some blank pages where I can glue in maybe a brochure or something from something I purchased. I want to back the back of this, but I thought I'd leave it for now and see if there's something in my travels or purchases that I want to just glue in there. I incorporated this Richard Scary Farm. It's fussy cut, and so I like I like pages that change up the size and visual effect of the book. I got this in here mostly for the strawberries, but I thought this would be another place I could tuck in a brochure or something. Uh, I did tuck spots with these and ended up cutting this one. So it's got just a little up tuck there. There's June. <laughs> and here's the back side. I made a pocket here with the little silo, the bare hanging wash, another pocket. This is one of my tags from Marcy at Creator's Call. I tucked that into this little back of the card. Uh, this is a pocket. This was a card from a friend. I love doxies. This is her other card that Marcy made. And uh, it's a journaling card tag. Uh, this is a notebook that Dale made and sent me. And I just sewed it in as its own signature so that I would have a place to take notes or make lists. And I just put this little one on the cover and I may put like a piece of lace or rickrack on there. I also fussy cut this tree and put that on the back of that. There's some magazine page here. This paper piecing piece. We're into the third signature now. This was some book front of a book from a music book. Another pocket here. The laziest joy can often be found in the shade. A little quote there. Sunflowers. We're into summer months now. Camping checklist. And I love the bumblebee paper here. We have a hundred bee boxes in our neighbor's yard. So we have a lot of bees. I made this little flip. This is September. So I thought maybe a little bit of a back to school look. Plus I love the chickens. <laughs> It was just really fun. I keep a little box of when I find an image that really speaks to my heart, I throw it into this little basket. And then when I do a project for myself, I have things set aside that I think are just really fun and I incorporate them in to whatever I'm making and keeping for myself. Another little tuck spot here. This is the last signature. This is a fall song about the leaves and the wind and the and this was from the fall harvest swap one of the magazine images I pulled this was a calendar that someone sent me and there's the October uh, this was also from the fall harvest swap and fall harvest hop I keep saying swap more wallpaper another pocket November. I love this fall image. It was from a English art book that I had. Uh, this is a mason jar, but lots of white space to write here. This was from this year's Amazon wish catalog, as well as this. Some more wallpaper. The back side of the mason jar wildflower on this cute little squirrel December calendar and it'll be here before we know it right uh, this was another spot I thought I could glue something on and look at this beautiful fall image of the church and one of these cuties in the snow and then there is the back of the church picture 
has a full 2024 calendar so you can see the whole thing at once. So I could just flip to the back of the book if I need to look at the whole year. And so that is where I'm at with my handmade Hazel Inaka inspired day book. I would really like to find a doily or a handkerchief to put on the front of this, but I haven't gotten that far. I figure it'll be fun to create in this a little more as the year goes on. And so I'm not worried about finishing it all entirely at one time. Thank you for coming along today. Thank you for those of you who have been sharing my upcoming giveaway. It's quite a big celebration for me. It's my birthday. I'm retiring and I'm striving to reach a thousand subscribers. It's that golden ticket <laughs> number for those of us here on YouTube. And so I have been trying to do community posts promoting different channels with my hashtag love a little channel. And you are welcome to use that hashtag as well to share other channels that we need called to our attention so that we can help them out and check out new creators. I love having you here, whether you are brand new to the channel or are returning. You mean so much to me and I really especially appreciate the comments and getting to know you better in the comments. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.